Okay. Experimental variant based on the FPS mo mod by Quapel. Alright. What does this look like? Press custom one to enter first person mode. You can leave to look around the level but cannot control your character while doing so. Custom zero turns on... Off... What is custom... Custom... What? Oh, cus keypad. What? What the fud? What? 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 Do I take damage? Okay, I do. What? Apparently a turret. A very powerful turret, apparently. Okay, I don't I don't know what this gets me. I want it. I want access to it. Did it explode? It's moving. Oh, cannon upgraded. Extra DPS. Uh what huh? That's interesting. Can I change anything about myself? I don't know. M maybe? I I am a f first person. Yeah, I'm a hero unit with a gun. I... <laughs> I was not expecting this. defend yourself better than that. These guys are barely even even attacking me. This feels like a StarCraft custom map. I Did any of the uh, FPS custom maps ever get made for StarCraft 2? Because I know that was the thing where they were like teasing that like you could make like a first person shooter StarCraft 2 campaign. <laughs> Behold the hard counter to Creeper. Just a random dude with a Glock. You're right. I appreciate that it actually shows me outlines of... Ow. Of all the structures. This game does not feel optimized for this kind of gameplay. It doesn't. It's kind of fun. I feel freakishly tall in an uncomfortable manner. Okay, looks like we're good. I'm gonna try and get me this damage upgrade. You are tall. I think you can see yourself in the map. Wait, really? Oh, that's cool. I'll take a look at it in a hot second. Okay, cannon and sprayer upgraded. Uh, am I? Wait, hold up. Hold the throne. Okay, let's move like right here. <laughs> I'm the Doom Guy head. one doesn't have an upgrade menu. Bit of a shame that. I'd very much like, uh, very much enjoy an upgrade menu so I could actually, you know, be strong, stronger, ish. If I tried switching weapons, I don't even know how. Did they say if I could? Whoa. Oh, I have a mortar mode. So th what? Wow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Piss mode. <laughs> Well, I could do this the right way. But I think the best thing that I could do is just nullify this emitter. Wait until they get their neutralizer down and then move on. Otherwise, I mean, there is the very real possibility I could just like tune out, uh, go off, eat dinner and come back and the amount of uh, the amount of anti-creep I'm currently producing is, uh, it's, it's probably enough that I could just win just by staring in a direction. <laughs> well, nullified. Yeah, I don't think I can, yeah, I can't dupe off of this, unfortunately. All right. I'm like a weird doom guy Moses. I'm just gonna sit here, and stare at my feet, unlock, uh, be totally safe where I am, and get an upgrade. It's a little hard to watch, but whatever. Uh, let's see, is there anything even interesting over here? Oh, there is. There's some anti-creep ground. Beautiful. Right. Well-made crab salad. Oh, is that giant mound of anti-creep still there? Kind of. Okay. So can I jump? No. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna create a path for myself over to this next upgrade, using nothing but anti-creep, which gives me just a, just enough of a buffer zone to stand right here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna eat some crab salad. <laughs> my cross my crosshair really does have a shadow. All right, let's see how let's see the damage. Wow, that is effective. And let's just uh, bridge the gap a little bit. Let him go. Perfect. Alright. Oh, there's an emitter right <laughs> I was standing next to an emitter the entire time. <laughs> yeah, let's just melt this. I, okay, I'm warming up to the FPS idea. It's, it's not really Creeper World, nor is it really that well featured, but it's kind of fun. Wait, someone did do maps and FPS? Really? <laughs> you know what? Why not? As you can't destroy emitters, right? Uh, apparently you can. It's just apparently it's disabled in the game normally. Okay. Properly nullified. Take a look. Can I just... What the hell? Oh, interesting. Well, I mean, I can walk through this entire thing. There it is. You cannot stop, stop me, Dark Zone. Where's my next upgrade? I care not for these dalliances. Okay, let's just... Put a bunch of anti-creep on the anti-creep duplicator. Okay, gotta watch my feet a little bit. I guess I could stand on it. Here we go. Get big! Get big! Now nothing can stop me. As is doing. Reasonably well. And there's our next upgrade. Alright. Can I... Oh, can I not cross this gap? I cannot cross this gap. Ah. Ooh. Okay, hold up. I need to not die. Okay. Here's how we're gonna do this. Ah! Perfect. <laughs> I 
Okay, sprayer's been upgraded. Ooh, that's a big upgrade. Where's the next one? Ah! <laughs> Just wait until I'm back up to full health. I mean, this is a good spot. There's the stash here, but whatever. The upgrades around the map. It's not the most useful bit of information for me, to be honest. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, because, yeah, the stash procced, finally. Yeah, you do regen. You do regen HP, slowly. What is going on here? I have no idea. Here's the thing. This is the only thing I care about. Everything else is just kind of okay. Okay, that's the cannon and the mortar. That's not that helpful. Do we have another upgrade? We do. Wait, hold up, hold up. This is gonna hurt. I shouldn't I shouldn't just go out half cocked. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Ah looking at it because it kind of hurts the eyes. Did I get it? I hope I did. Where is my health? Uh, it's in the objectives thing on the side. It's not the most o obvious, unfortunately. Let's see, I might have missed an upgrade at the start. Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm trying to even understand this map here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Ah! Uh. Okay, where am I? I'm like part way there. Ah! Uh. Okay, yep. You're right. We did miss one. Whoa. What the? What? What the? What the? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, there it is. All right, now nah, it was cannon and mortar. I am ambivalent. But here's a question. I was hoping this would feed itself while I was here. Okay, here's a question. Do I have to be physically close to it? No, I don't. Rad. Alright. That's the mortar in the deeps. What about the next one? Okay, it looks like there's limitations. Much to my chagrin. Wow. Mortar is pretty nutty. I don't necessarily know if it's better, but cripes. Okay. Is machine gun better? Maybe? I mean, the easiest answer is just pick on the admitters, because if the... If the emitters are just completely docile, there's nothing they can do. Let's see, game audio cut out. Yeah, it looks like the game audio is just off for whatever reason. Weird. I I don't I don't know why it's off. I don't know if it's the music. I don't think there's sound effects here. If I just stay and pray.
There we go. If I just... Uh, not stay in prey, stay in spray. There we go. Unfortunately, the auto build is not the most advanced thing ever. Ah, there's the music. I must have pressed M thinking it would be the map button. But I guess it's the mute button. Okay, let's uh cut this back a little bit. The anti creep, it might not be as quite as aggressive as the guns. Big benefit it though, in my opinion, is that it gives a buffer where the the regular creep can't go. And since their output is just kind of limited, there's only so much. Anyway, yeah, no longer mute city. Which is good. The anti-creep is also funnier. I really wish I could change the color. I know that was supposed to be like a thing in Creeper World 3, and alas, it's not. It's not a thing that I can do here. Let's just shoot around this. I wonder if the X marks the uh the nullifier spot, like go here. So what is this game? Well, it's Creeper World 4. But I've tur uh, I've downloaded an FPS mod that just makes it stupid. I wanted you to fight the Creep Mountain from the previous game. <laughs> I would lose. But yeah, I, I would love to be able to customize like an actual anti-creep mech. I think that would be freaking sick. I, I know it would probably never happen, but I'd love to see Creeper World 5 really embrace this level of goofiness and, yeah, even let you go first person. In fact, uh, I know it wouldn't happen, but a combination between Sanctum, uh, Satisfactory, and Creeper World would be, like, my ideal tower defense game. I think that would be freaking obscene. Okay. The Creeper World's FPS spin-off win. Oh, man, that'd be interesting. Now that's on the other side, yeah? I think it is. Yeah, that's not my next target. Yeah, I should probably be using the mortar a little bit more. Much as the anti-creep is funnier, holy shit, this just demolishes. Okay. Delete that. Get rid of all of these things. kind of aim for mass concentration. Be clear at some point. Okay. Maybe I should actually start with a bunch of anti-creep right here to cut it off. Wait, the dev actually intended to have the color changeable. But it turned out that an early decision ended up making it impossible without re rewriting half the game. Really? Weird. Yeah, I'm just going to toss this out for a second. There we go. You know, I thought this map was going to be really quick. It was less fast than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Let's produce the anti-creep wall. Mostly just wait until these guns are built. Are they good? Almost. And then, yeah, let's just use the mortar, because the mortar really tanks it down. 
The anti-creep is really effective as a defensive measure, not so great as an offensive measure here. I wonder how this would work in first person, or not first person, multiplayer. Because I could see that being like, really fun. Okay. Do we want to grab this last emitter? Unfortunately, half of these are just getting terblasted. Because they're putting the towers down before they have ample defenses to actually defend the towers. It's the auto the auto build, all it does is it just knows where to put the towers and it keeps trying to rebuild them. Which makes a lot of sense. But it's a little awkward. But yeah, how rad would it be if if the AI was actually replaced with another player? So, you know, I was I was working with them to defend. Okay. This mostly works. Really does not give me a whole lot of leeway here, but that's okay. And yeah, they have no good defenses. They do not hold the line. If it was not for me, they would be sunk. Like natural selection? Yeah. Let's see. I wonder if you played Mindustry. I have. I I do enjoy it. I uh gosh. I think I just ended up getting stuck. I kept getting uh attacked in retaliation. And that started to get kind of tiring. And so I stopped playing it. I want to go back at some point. Maybe try and convince some friends to play with me or something, but nah, I don't know. Yeah, let's just... Just delete everything here. Take this whole corner. I just don't want to find out that the AI goofed it and lost the whole uh, nullifier because that just would have been frustrating. I love Mindustry waiting for V7. That's kind of where I'm at. Like, I could go back and play some now, but I'd probably have a better time if I waited. Okay, I see two upgrades left. Do we just go for it? Sure. This one just right here. Looks like it is. I right, were good. Thank you, Anti Creep, for just providing safety zone for me. Please give me a huge sprayer bonus. It did not. I'm really curious what happens if I die. Okay. Oh, they actually... They actually have planes going now. I did not see them. Ah. Please be big sprayer upgrade. Please be big sprayer boost. Ow, that's hard to look at. Well, time ten on sprayer bonus. Hell yeah. What's up, Shell? That was good. That was good enough. I need more. Rep salad was good. Ah. Uh. Okay, so if I just stand directly on top of this emitter, wow, they are unsettling to look at. If I just stand directly on top of this thing, 
do I just auto win? The answer is probably not. Which is a bit of a shame. Looks like a wiggly coral. It just, ah, I feel like it makes weird noises. I was kind of hoping it would look more like te technological for plot reasons. Oh yeah, I really did actually deplete this pretty aggressively. What if speed times four? Oof. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff. I'm just gonna... I, I really wish I could alternate between FPS and actually putting things down. Or more so, you know, if... if you could play this co-op and the other player would be in control. God, that would be so sick. Because you could do so many wild tactics. Wow. I This mortar is upsetting. Like, the anti-creep is good. The mortar, though. The mortar is wild. Just completely wipe it out. Seeing the mountains of creep is actually kind of scary in, in first person. Yeah, there's a neat ambiance to it. It's the only way I think I can really describe it. Kind of like that feeling you get from a liminal space, but... It's like with mountains and shit. I don't know, whenever I'm in like a valley, I get this like weird tingly feeling. I don't know how to describe it apart from just like... It makes me feel small, in a good and a bad way. Okay, let's just clean this up. I do not know which gun is best for what I'm doing here. And I kind of wish I knew. Get back to the anti-creep for a bit. I think part of it is, uh, you have to kind of mix them. The anti-creep does a very good job of limiting what they can do. Yeah, sprayer is, is definitely AI defense. The other guns are a little bit more effective at actually clearing-ish. Yeah, that'll slow it down. Also, this player is very good at, at clearing out just little bits. Ah, oh, is there... Oh, yeah, there is... There is a hard limitation here. Cool. All right. Go back to cutting this back down a size. Because we're, we're making good time. I think we n just need to go full mortar here. Well, I guess I should make sure that this has enough creep, uh, anti-creep to actually be filled. And fortunately, I don't think it's really... Let's see, I don't think it's really that effect are effective I can't really flood the base in anti creep I could like it's it's almost a little tempting to try this again at some point on like hyper speed what if I keep shooting I do not the moment I oh that's interesting
That's interesting, a little tragic. I was actually auto-firing there for a while. But now I have to go back to clicking. Not that it really matters too much. And maybe if you have the auto-fire on. Is there a way that I can turn it back on? I haven't seen it. As a button. You can toggle it with zero. Oh yeah, there it is. No. Yeah. Nope. I'm a little disappointed. Because I feel like that could have been really, really kind of fun. Just back away from the game and come back in like an hour and have just won by flooding the level without even moving. I don't think you can actually do that. I don't think you produce quite enough anti-creep, at least at base level, to do it. Okay. Yeah, some of the FPS maps are actually hard. The enemy does push by sheer amount of creep. Interesting. Uh, are there any with actually good, uh, I don't want to say upgrade schemes. That was my thing about the StarCraft custom maps when I was younger. I really loved, uh, playing things like this where you had, like, a bunch of upgrades you could grab. The music a bit loud. I think it is. I'll turn it back down. There's an update or something that reset my, um... Let's see. There was an update that reset my... My audio settings, I guess, for this game. And I've been trying to figure out that perfect balance. It was really quiet for a while, and then it stopped being really quiet. Okay, I really want to build the nullify here. Looks like it's more interesting getting a bunch of sprayers down. I will admit, I think I'm not going to do the FPS maps that often. They're fun. Uh, I liked it really early on. It slows down a little bit because nothing I do changes. If I had to alternate between FPS and building, I think that would be real, real fun. And like obviously I'm I'm clearly winning. It's just a matter of like I'm kind of disengaged from the process. Does speeding the game up work? Maybe. Looks like it, yeah. It doesn't look as nice, is the one downside. What is nullified? The heck is the oh there's the nullifier. Oh gosh. It is largely undefended. That's not great. Now is it local man unlo unloads Glock into ocean again? It kind of is, yeah. There's one. Ooh. That has brought me a gift. Hey, she has brought me a hot gift. Pat the buns. Oh, yeah, they're hot. We bought red bean red bean paste buns from local gro uh, Korean grocery store. We haven't eaten them up until today. Now I get my bean paste buns. I am an absolute sucker for red bean paste buns. Red bean paste desserts just in general, but red bean paste buns usually are the ones. Okay. I will usually go out of my way for those. Those and Korean pancakes. 
but those also tend to have either red bean paste or no 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 it's like a brown sugar thing Alright. We good? I think we're good. And at this this point I just have to flood enough anti-creep onto both of these and they just go down automatically. There we go. Perfect. All done. Hooray! That was fun. I don't think I'm gonna do them often. But as far as, uh, like, weird novelty maps go, not bad.